Hi, welcome to this channel. In this video, we are going to see higher purchase system. Okay. Before we see the problem, please subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon to get the further notification of my new uploads. Okay. Now let us see what is higher purchase system briefly along with some necessary information and then we will see the problem. Okay. See, what is the meaning of higher purchase system? Higher purchase system is an agreement between buyer and seller. Okay. So here, buyer refers to hirer and seller refers to higher vendor that is owner. Okay. See here, according to this agreement, okay, the buyer will acquire some goods or some asset from seller on higher purchase basis. Okay. Here, the seller will transfer the goods to buyer. Okay. And the buyer will make use of the asset or the goods. For that, the buyer will pay some amount on periodical basis to seller. That amount is called higher charges or installment amount. Okay. See, according to this agreement, the buyer will get the ownership only after making the last payment. Okay. After clearing all the due amount to seller, then only the ownership will be transferred from seller to buyer. Till such time, seller will have the ownership. Okay, here according to this agreement, if there is any problem, suppose if the buyer fails to pay any installment amount, okay, in that particular case, the seller has every right to get back the goods from the buyer, okay, because the ownership in the hands of seller, right? Okay, after making the last installment only, the seller will transfer the ownership to buyer. This is called called as higher purchase system okay it is an agreement between hirer and higher vendor hirer means buyer higher vendor means seller okay now we are going to see the problem before we see the problem let us see some important terminology which is very important for this particular accounting treatment okay according to higher purchase system we need to understand some important terms based on that only we are going to see some problems okay the first important term is uh, cash price. See, cash price is the retail price of the article of goods uh, which they can be purchased immediately for cash. See, cash price means retail price uh, which they can be purchased immediately for cash. Okay, when you acquire any item okay from the seller and a normal retail shopping in that the price is called cash price okay again i'm telling you retail price of the article at which they can be purchased immediately for cash not under higher purchase immediately for cash okay the actual retail price of the product is called cash price okay and the next one is a higher purchase price see in that higher purchase price consists Cash price, cash price means actual retail price, cash price plus interest because you are postponing the payment, okay, you are going to pay the amount in installment basis, okay, for that the higher purchase price consists of cash price plus interest, okay, the total amount payable by the buyer to seller is called higher purchase price, okay. And the next one is interest. So, what is interest? Interest is an additional amount apart from the cash price payable by the buyer as compensation for postponement payment. Okay. The buyer is going to make payment a periodical basis, installment basis. Okay. He just postponing the payment or not paying full amount immediately. He just postponing the payment, right? For that, the buyer has to pay some extra amount. That extra amount is called interest. Okay. See, the next one is a higher charges or installment. Okay. This is the amount payable by the buyer periodically. Okay. The installment may be equal or different depending on the agreement. Okay. So, every month or every year periodically, the buyer will make payment to seller, right? That amount is called higher charges or installment. Okay. And the next one is down payment. See, down payment means this is the advance payable by the buyer while signing the higher purchase agreement. So, at the time of entering into the higher purchase agreement, the buyer has to pay some initial amount. Okay, that initial amount is called down payment. It is also a part of the higher purchase price. So, higher purchase price, what is the meaning of higher purchase price? 
द टोटल अमाउंट पेएबल बाय द बायर नो इन दैट द फर्स्ट इंस्टॉलमेंट इज कॉल्ड डाउन पेमेंट व्हाई बिकॉज़ दिस अमाउंट विल बी पेएबल एट द टाइम ऑफ साइनिंग द एग्रीमेंट हायर परचेस एग्रीमेंट and the next one hirer just now we discussed no hirer means buyer of the goods on हायर पर्चे बेसिस एंड देन हायर वेंडर हायर वेंडर मीन ओनर दट इज द सेलर ऑफ द गुड्स ऑन हायर पर्चे सिस्टम ओके सो दीज आर द वेरियस इंपॉर्टेंट टर्मिनोलॉजी विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर हायर पर्चे सिस्टम नाउ लेट एस सी द डिफरेंट केसेस एंड द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ इंटरेस्ट सी In higher purchase system accounting, the very very important thing is calculation of interest. Okay, the calculation of interest can be done in five different cases. The first one is you need to calculate interest when the rate of interest, the cash price. and the installment everything will be given in the problem in that case how to calculate interest that is the first case and the second one when the rate of interest is not given in the previous one the rate of interest will be given all other informations also will be there but in the second case the rate of interest is not given in that case how to calculate interest okay the third one is when the total cash price is not given okay in the second case rate of interest is not given in the third case total cash price is not given in that case how to calculate interest okay and the next one fourth one when the installment price is not given okay see in that case how to calculate interest see the last one when cash price is calculated by annuity method okay this method is totally different from the above four methods okay see we are going to see problem for each and every method separately okay in this video we are going to see the problem for the first one the remaining problem we will see in a separate separate video you can find the links in the description box okay now let us see the problem for the first case that is uh, when the rate of interest cash price and installments are given look at the problem now let us see the problem for the first case that is when rate of interest total cash price and installment are given okay look at the problem on 1st january 2015 jk purchased machinery on hire purchase system okay the payment is to be made 10000 down that is down payment on signing of the contract okay and 8000 rupees annually for 3 years how many years for 3 years each amount is 8000 rupees every year he is going to pay 8000 rupees for how many years 3 years okay and then the total cash price of the machinery is 30000 okay and the rate of interest is 10 percentage now i am going to show the table how to calculate interest okay the rate of interest is 10 percentage and the cash price of the machinery is 30000 see cash price means actual retail price of a asset that is 30000 and then down payment how much 10000 and each year installment amount how much 8000 rupees okay with this information they ask you to calculate interest in each year's installment see each year installment consists of what part of cash price plus interest so that i am going to explain along with the solution see these are the informations given in the problem that is uh, the total cash price of an asset is 30000 okay and the higher purchase price is 10000 down payment and three equal installment so each installment 8000 rupees no 8000 into 3 24000 plus down payment okay total 34000 this is higher purchase price okay all the entire amount paid by the buyer to seller down payment 10 and three installment total 34000 this is the higher purchase price and 30000 is the cash price and then the next one is interest so this amount you can easily calculate by comparing higher purchase price and cash price so actual cash price is only 30 but the higher purchase price is 34000 that extra 4000 is equal to interest okay and the rate of interest charge is 10 percentage so all these information is given in the problem now we are going to calculate okay the interest for each and every installment okay so each installment 
consist of part of cash price plus interest is equal to installment amount so we are going to show the interest calculation which is included in each and every installment let us see the calculation of interest see the solution table showing calculation of interest okay here we have five columns the first one is particulars and the second one total cash price in this particular column we need to record only cash price calculation okay see the third column is uh, installment paid okay here you have to record down payment and three equal installments okay the next one is interest paid here you have to record the interest calculation which is included in the installment okay the last one is cash price paid okay here you have to record how much part of cash price paid in each and every installment that has to be recorded separately okay the last one is cash price paid okay in this particular column you have to record how much cash price paid okay in each and every installment that is uh, installment minus interest is equal to cash price okay that we have to calculate so now with this information you have to calculate interest paid which is there in each and every installment now let us see the calculation okay under particulars first you have to take cash price how much cash price look at the problem see the cash price of the machinery is 30000 right so cash price is 30000 and the payment is to be made 10000 down this is a down payment and then and 8000 rupees annually for 3 years this is the installment amount so three equal installment this is also considered as a first payment that is down payment and then three annual installment 8000 rupees each okay so first cash price 30000 out of that down payment how much 10000 rupees so it is a first payment that can be entered under installment paid okay 10000 rupees in this particular down payment there will be no interest because interest will be calculated only the amount which is due balance amount this amount you are paying at the time of entering into an agreement right so this amount is fully cash price there will be no interest in the down payment because this amount is payable at the time of purchasing an asset okay so first 10000 paid how much balance 20000 balance this amount you are going to pay in three installment right you are postponing the payment for that only you are entitled to pay interest see the first year interest will be calculated based on the balance that is cash price minus down payment the first balance amount is 20000 rupees you are going to pay in future right for that you have to pay interest okay now the first year interest calculation will be based on due amount okay after making payment of down payment how much amount is due 20000 for that you have to pay interest so i'll show the interest calculation 20000 balance amount into what is the rate of interest see the problem see the given rate of interest is 10 percentage okay and the installment amount is 8000 rupees annually for 3 years okay this installment amount that each year installment amount consists of part of cash price plus interest okay now see the solution okay so 10 by 100 is equal to 2000 rupees okay the first installment amount how much 8000 this installment amount consists of interest plus cash price okay now we have calculated interest okay then how to calculate cash price installment minus interest that is column 3 minus column 4 column 3 is installment column 4 is interest right so installment consists of interest plus cash price so we have installment and interest now how to calculate cash price 8000 minus 2000 is equal to cash price okay see now cash price is 6000 interest 2000 total 8000 okay each and every installment amount consists of interest plus part of cash price now subtract the cash price because in the second column we have taken only 
cash price okay now we have to subtract only 6000 not 8000 because this 8000 consists of cash price plus interest so just subtract the cash price in the first installment 6000 rupees paid out of 20000 cash price you have paid 6000 rupees cash price balance how much 14,000 cash price balance. Okay, now go to the second year. So, in the second installment, same thing, 8,000. In that, how much interest is included? Same way you have to calculate. So, how much is balance after first installment? 14,000, no. So, 14,000 into the rate of interest remains same, 10 percentage. So, 1,400, right? So, this 8,000 inclusive of interest plus cash price. So, 8000 minus 1400, you will be getting 6600. Okay. So, 6600 cash price plus interest 1400 is equal to 8000 installment. Okay. Now, how much cash price? 6600. No. Now, subtract 6600. Okay. How much balance? 7400. Okay. Now, we are in the last stage that is the last final installment. For the final installment, you need not apply percentage to calculate interest. Why? Because how much cash price is balanced? 7,400. But what is the installment amount? 8,000. How much extra you are paying? 600 rupees. That is interest. Okay. You need not calculate. Simply you can compare the installment amount that you have paid and the balance amount of cash price. Okay. So installment amount 8,000 minus cash price 7,400. 600 rupees paying extra. Installment amount 8,000. Interest amount 600. What is the difference? 7,400. This is a cash price. Now subtract cash price. Now nil entire amount of cash price you have paid. Okay. There will be no balance. Total installment paid. How much? See the installment column. Down payment 10,000. First installment 8. Second installment 8. Third installment 8,000. So total 34,000. Now look at the interest calculation. See the interest column. In the down payment there will be no interest. Okay. In the first installment interest amount is 2000. Second installment 1400 interest is there. And in the third installment 600 rupees interest is there. Okay. Total how much? 4000 rupees. Okay. And the last one cash price. Down payment 10,000. First installment uh, cash price is 6000. In the second installment, cash price is 6,600. In the third installment, cash price is 7,400. So, total cash price paid how much? 30,000. So, total cash price paid 30,000 plus interest 4,000 is equal to total higher purchase price or total installment paid 34,000. This is the way to calculate interest when cash price, higher purchase price and the rate of interest is given. Okay. See the five different cases of calculation of interest under higher purchase. Okay. Here we have seen the first case. In the next video, we will see the second one. That is calculation of interest when the rate of interest is not given. Okay. Please check the description box to find the links. Hope you like the video. Please subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.